What's up guys? Steve here with Scotch and Things. Got another package in the mail. Really digging this Strider XL. Um, so I oh God, watch Steve cut himself. I pre-ordered this knife. It's not really like I guess it is kind of like a pre-order. Um, you have to go on their site. And kind of confusing at first because I'd been on before looking for one and everything was sold out. So I didn't get one, went back and was messing around on their site again. And it was like, well, buy the, or do I want one or get on the list? And so I did. So it's American Blade Works. Cool little pouch. American Blade Works. This is the... Model 1 V6. So, yeah, we'll leave that there for some eye candy. So, like I said, first time I was on their site, wanted to buy one, and didn't really pay attention. And went back and was looking, and it was like, this model is available to kind of pre-order. Like, you get your name on the list, and then um, they notify you when it's ready. Uh, so I did, and it only took about a month, month and a half, and I got the notification, and the best part, man, this is an all-American made knife for $185. Wow, this is a really nice pouch. $185. Guys. Whew. It, and to me, the reason I kind of found this is because I really want a Grimsmo Rask. And this is very similar shaped, I think. So I've heard nothing but good things. And this is a great knife. Now, here's what I want to see. This is what I'm disappointed in. This is the only... So, see, that's S35VN. When I did the pre-order or the reserve my spot, it said it was going to be in 20 CV. So when I got the email saying to follow this link and this knife was ready for purchase it said s35 s35 is fine i just and like i'm not a steel a steel snob so you know that but i would rather have 20 cv over s35 um i think right now the black micarta version is up on their site um but sharp I mean, great lockup. So it's a liner lock, micarta. You know, the brown micarta I'm not super in love with. But I wanted to give one of these a try after watching videos. And, I mean, this is an American-made knife by, I think it's just, what's this guy's name, Martin? I don't remember his first name. I think his last name is Martin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I wish there was more information. I'll have to go back and look on the website. Um, but... I mean, pretty much like a mom and pop type operation. I think their family is involved, but he makes these all in house. Um, so it's not a true custom, but it's like a mid tech. Um, kind of gritty right now. I'm sure it's going to break in. It reminds me of uh, how my. Can you kind of hear that? It's got that. It's It's smooth, but it's got like this kind of raspy gritty sound kind of like my um hoback uh husky does it's it's smooth but it's just got this kind of uh, you know so i might contact and that's i mean the blade centering is way off um and I don't know if that's the grind or because it looks centered through here. And even if I push it over, it's still, I don't know, guys, is that just the grind? I might contact them. Uh, it's, it's nice and sharp. I mean, there's no, no blade play. Um, 
I'm a little surprised about that. I don't know. It's, what do you guys think? Is that... It's almost like the blade... It's like a miss... A miss grind. I might ask them. It's not a big deal. Like I said, it's $185 for an American-made knife. Uh, but I am kind of surprised on that. This is the first time I've ever s held one in person. It looks like you can reverse the pocket clip here. Um, like I said... Uh, I was super excited when I realized that I was an idiot on their website and I could actually pre-order one um, in 20 CV at 185 bucks. That's awesome. S35, I know people are on the bandwagon and dogging that right now. S35 um, is a fine steal, especially for like 185 bucks. I'm a little concerned about that blade, though. I'm just sorry. I'm trying to look off camera if it's... Like the grind? Uh, what do you guys, I mean, can you, does it look like it's, I don't, does that look like it, I'm trying to tell if it's just ground more, see like it, like it's straighter here, does this, and it almost looks like it's kind of ground more that way. So it could be a graph. So hold on. Yeah. So that's the right side. So there is. It's kind of hard to. Like this is straight. And this kind of goes. So when you flip that over, the straight side is over here now. And that's straight here and kind of. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, that would have helped if it was on camera. Um, so maybe none of that was on camera because I was looking at it myself. So this side looks like it's straighter. And then this side it looks like it kind of takes an abrupt kind of this way. So when you turn that over, now my straight side is over here. There, it's on camera now. So do you see that? So it's straighter here and the grind. So I think... The blade centering isn't off. The grind is off. Um, I don't know. Would you contact them? Uh, is that something that usually doesn't really bother me, especially on, you know, something in this price range? Um, you know, when you're spending Grimsmo money, you want it to be good. Uh, striders are always off, but this is a chisel ground. So um, good action, though. Cool pivot, um, captured pivot, got their A, B, W in there. So, uh, comment down below, what would you guys do about that? I might shoot them a picture in an email, just saying, uh, is this just the grind? Hey, what's up? That looks like a grinding mistake to me, because it doesn't look like the blade's off. It just looks like... I, I believe he grinds them himself, so that could be. Um, I love the look at the stone wash. It is really sharp. So, there you go, guys. First look, I'll carry this. Who knows when I'll get around to making a video. You know, I'm doing my month on this. Um, I'll get around sometime on this and carry it and report back to you guys. Um, I just want to try one out. And like I said, for the money, you cannot try one out. Especially, you know, support a small American knife maker um, who's got his stuff reasonably priced. It seems like anything that's American made right now in the knife industry is just demanding such stupid high prices that um, it's kind of nice when you find maybe a a gem in the rough but ergonomics are nice like it feels good in hand you can choke up on it you know I mean I might order one of these for my brother for Christmas um, I think he'd really enjoy it so I don't know. what do you guys let me know what you think about the blade down below should I contact them should I just let it go like I said for eight for 185 bucks you know it doesn't look 
I really do think that is a grinding issue and not a centering issue. But there you go, guys. First look at the American Blade Works little popsicle clip. You know, nice backspacer. Um, you know, American Made, if you look, I think, I mean, everything is sourced, he said, inside the U.S., so that's cool. Ooh, I just got to bring that strider. I'll leave that color dance in that purple. Um, cool. I'm excited to get this and try it out. But I really like the shape, and I really like, I mean, the action on it's good. It feels good. It just reminds me, like I said, the, the Grimsmo Rask, and that's why I can't get my hands on one of those right now. So I thought I'd give this a whirl. But uh, there you go, guys. First look at the American Blade Works Model 1 version 6. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.